A bit of a different repair this time. These are uh, uh, monitors for a CNC controller on an older machine, like early 90s, actually probably more like late 80s. Uh, they're both identical. I'm sort of halfway done with them. Uh, the problem with both was um, suspected bad power supply, uh, but actually it's um, no or very little uh, vertical deflection. So I'm going to power up the top, the top one for now. One thing, the um, the flyback, that whine we just heard is a bit louder than than I expect. And when it eventually turns on, you can, you can tell there's a line there. There's actually supposed to be some text. Alright, and as it warms up, that screen is gonna, gonna, gonna get taller and taller. So probably something related to power supplies maybe, I don't know, I haven't checked that one yet. But uh, I actually have a pretty good idea where to look. So here's that, uh, the other one. This is actually the first one I repaired. When I turned it on, it just gave a, looked like a white line sort of in the middle of the screen, which was actually compressed text with no vertical deflection. This is what it's supposed to be. Like text at the top and a prompt at the bottom. So this one's pretty much fixed. Alright, so this is the monitor that I haven't fixed yet. But from uh, what I saw, this I see there with the two thermal tabs. Let's see. Um, TDA1170, and it's the vertical deflection amplifier. And the deflection signal goes underneath the board, and it uh, ends up somewhere, well, eventually on this connector here, which is which goes to the yoke. And the yoke is coil is in series with this capacitor. And that's the one that was bad on the other board that I fixed. It uh, it measured uh, open circuit, just uh, no capacitance, so maybe dried out, I'm not sure. These were definitely suspicious, but they seem to be okay. And all the ones at the bottom too, they, uh, they were all okay on the other one. Interestingly, there's a mix of types of capacitors on both of these. It's as if they were recapped maybe 10 years ago, but the most recent caps are a Luxon brand, which are kind of infamous and notorious for going bad in, in motherboards, I think, or monitors of that area of uh, that period. So what a poor choice of recap! I think I found a winner. That's the um, the capacitor that's in series with the, the deflection coil. And uh, actually, that, that's the one from the first monitor that I fixed, and it doesn't even doesn't even register on this. And that's the one that I just removed. Oops. Yeah, so it's ESR is through the roof, and uh, capacitance is about half of the rated value. So I'll go and get the new one, throw that in, and see if it helps. All right. So it's uh, the monitor on the top is hooked up. Let's see if it works better. There we go. Bit less bright than the other one. There is a, an adjustment on the PCB, so I might try playing with that, but I'll let it warm up a bit. But otherwise, it's uh, got pretty much full scale uh, deflection and looks square enough. So I'm not going to play with that any more than I have to.